I'm going to be teaching you how to create this type of storybook for free and this will help you generate some passive income in 2025. I'm also going to teach you how to generate images for this storybook. The first thing you need to do is go to Canva, click on write me my first draft. Then type in write a short storybook. A very short storybook for me of five chapters for age three to six years then click on generate it will go ahead and generate it for me once you are satisfied click on insert now it will insert it in the canva document here you can take a proper look at your story and you can make adjustments if you like please if you are still here do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment next click on magic right at the top right hand corner then type in can you generate images or illustration for this storybook then click on generate it to go ahead and try to generate prompt for the storybook because it will tell you that it's unable to generate image but it can help you with a um, prompt for your illustrations go through your prompt to see if that's what you want next i'm going to head to a new window and type in canva then click on dream lab here i'm going to give it the background of my image so i'm going to say that the title of the book is the little bed just so that it can have a background or understanding of what i want to generate then next i'm going to go ahead to my image prompt and bring in the first image prompt please do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions paste it then i'm going to choose my style which is illustration i'm going to leave it at illustration then aspect ratio click on create and wait for it to create it now it has created my first image i'm going to download any one that i like go back to my image prompt bring the second image and then paste it in dream lab then give it more instruction now ask it to please make the bed blue just like the first image then i'm going to go ahead and click on create so it will generate a blue bed for me so you keep on giving instruction as you go then i'm going to click on this second bed you can see the image is in the bed is in blue and the beak is yellow so i like it just like the first one i'm going to click on it to make your characters consistent so i'm going to click on the second one too next i'm going to go to my prompt bring in the third prompt paste it in dream lab again once i paste it i'm going to give it more instruction i'm going to ask it to make the squirrel in the third instruction i'm going to ask it to make the squirrel in the third prompt black i'm just going to simply ask it please make bb the bed blue and sammy the squirrel black in color i'm going to click on create you can see so you keep on giving instruction based on what you want your storybook illustrations to look like so i like this i'm going to go ahead and download it just click on download to download it so you keep giving instruction is on your prompt and how you want the image to come out i'm going to copy the fourth prompt and paste it in dream lab i'm just going to paste it then i'm going to give more instruction based on the fourth prompt too i think this one it has not just only sammy the um, squirrel it has rabbits i'm going to ask it to generate penny the rabbit in white and timmy the turtle in brown color then i'm going to click on create and you can see it has generated all these other animals in the colors i want i think i like this one because they are looking for the feather here i'm just going to click on download to download it next i'm going to go ahead and bring the fifth and last prompt then i'm going to go to um dream lab and paste it now it has all my instructions so after pasting it i'm not going to give it any instruction i'm just going to click on create and now it has generated the fifth image for me i'm just going to click on this second one oh the feather is in brown it's supposed to be a blue feather maybe i'm just going to go ahead and regenerate fifth prompt again okay i don't really like it because the blue bed is supposed to be in middle and the feather is supposed to be blue so i'm just going to check the first one i generated again i think I'm just going to go through them and see which one the feather is in blue but i don't like the way it is so i'm going to 
check this one this first one i think i like it i'm going to download it because the feather is in blue next i'm going to head back home and type in the search bar book creator cover i'm just going to click on it then i'm going to click on create blank now i'm going to click on upload i'm going to go ahead and upload all the images i generated from canva dream lab i'm just going to go ahead and upload it haven't done so i'm going to um bring in the first image for my storybook which is the first image i generated in dream lab i'm now going to just go ahead right click on the image and then set it as background image now i'm going to head back to canva document where i have my story i'm going to bring in the title for the storybook i'm going to go to chapter one i'm just bringing the little blue bed which is the title for the storybook so i'm just going to click on it and copy it head back to my design and then go to text bring add a heading then paste it there then try to resize it put it at the bottom where i have space for text so i think i'm not going to leave it in black i'm going to just change the color of the text to white i'm going to go to color then change it to white click on white now i've changed the text to white next i'm going to go to font and try to change the font i'm going to change the font to doses now i've changed the font i think it's more better i'm going to size it again now i'm paste it at the bottom where i have space next i'm going to click on add page then i'm going to click on upload i'm going to bring this image because i want to use the bird then i'm going to click on edit then i'm going to click on magic grab then click on the bed then click on grab it will grab away the bed from the image i'm going to set the image as background image then shift the bed then go to element and bring this square adjust it or size it click on the bed and position it forward click on position and bring it forward now i'm now going to go ahead and size my bed because i want it to serve as a design at the bottom next i'm going to go to text after sizing my bed i'm going to go to text and bring in a heading i'm going to bring out a heading then i'm going to go to my canva document and copy the first heading for chapter one then i'm going to paste it here then i'm going to go ahead and size this next i'm going to go to font then i prefer doses but you can play with fonts first i'm going to click on anton i like anton i'm also going to click on atma you can play with anyone you want but i prefer doses for my for the heading of my storybook next i'm going to go ahead bring in the contents for chapter one i'm just going to head to my canva document we have my stories and i'm going to copy the chapter one then i'm going to go to text and bring in body then i'm going to go ahead and paste it there the body of my storybook i'm going to adjust it next i'm going to go to alignment at the top and then click on it to align it to the left then click on font then type in iron florentina i prefer this font for the body then i'm going to adjust it then i also adjust my bird then now I'll go ahead and click on add page, then bring the image for chapter 2. This is the image for chapter 2. I'm going to set it as background, then click on add page again, and then bring that image I use for background. Click on edit, click on magic grab, then grab the bed. Once I grab the bed, I'm going to switch to the bottom right, then I'm going to um, set the image as background. Next, I'm going to go to element, and I'm going to bring this square, change the color to white, then I'm going to resize it it and then i'm going to click on this bed click on position position it forward next i'm going to go ahead and click on text bring out the heading go to my canva document and bring the heading for chapter two copy it and then paste it here adjust and resize it up and place it at the top like this go to fonts then click on doses 
I want the size of my heading to be uniform so I'm going to check the first one and then go ahead and make sure the second one is the same 8.45 next I'm going to bring the body go to my Canva document and bring the body for chapter 2 paste it here adjust it make sure I go to font and pick Irene Florentina then check for the first one and make sure that it's the same size 75.4 then click on next bring in the image for chapter 3 click on add page then go ahead and bring in the image I normally use for my background for the text so I'm just going to go ahead and bring the image click on edit magic grab grab the bed and then make sure that I set it as background then position the bed at the bottom right then go ahead to element and bring the square change the color to white then resize it to fill the image then click on the bed and position it forward I'll also go ahead and resize the square again then position the bed Next, I'll click on text, click on add a heading, go to my Canva document and bring the heading for chapter 3, paste it, then resize it, put it at the top, then change the size of the font, then go to fonts and change it to doses, change the font to doses, go to text and bring in the body of text, copy the text from the document in Canva and paste it here. Then size it and then change the size of the font to 75.4. Align it to the right. Yes, align it to the right. Go to font and change it to Iron Font Florentina. Just click on add page again. Then bring the image for chapter 4. Then right click on the image and set it as background click on add page again again i'll bring in the image i use as background for my body of text then i'm going to go ahead and click on edit click on magic grab grab the bed then click on grab set the image as background then drag the bed to the bottom right hand corner go to elements and bring on this square then change the square to white color this next i'll click on the bird click on position and position it forward then i'm going to just go and add ahead and adjust the bed click on text and bring in the heading go to the document and bring in the heading for chapter four adjust and resize it now that i'm sure that you have an idea or you have understand how to create your own storybook using canva i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward the process till i get to the last page Now I'm done with the last page. You can decide to add a page that says the end if you like, but I'm not going to be adding it. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll up to the first page so that you see what we have created from start to finish. And this is amazing. You can now go ahead and click on the share button, click on download, make sure it is on PDF print, then click on download. 